It is a textbook silencing tactic. And I see that, and I see them, and I am not going to be silent. I refuse to be silent. She ran for Congress in District 1. Syra Rao is getting backlash, though, on social media after sending out a tweet that some people say is racist. And now Syra says she is taking her family and leaving the state because of death threats. Today, she talked with Nine News reporter Kristen Aguirre and said while she may be leaving town, her fight against white supremacy, that's not going anywhere, Kristen. That's right, Kim. Now, this is a tweet that is actually blowing up on Twitter. It's an op-ed piece from the New York Times called, Should I Give Up on White People? Syra retweeted it with the response, short and long answer, yes. Now, today when I spoke with her, she said that wasn't meant to be taken literally. What made you say, I'm going to write this, uh, this response? Because I believe it. Syra says she believes in giving up on some white people, not all. Of course not. We're giving up on white supremacy and white supremacists. I am anti-white supremacy. I am not anti-white people. Now, some people are calling her the racist. If you are more upset about a brown woman calling out racism and white supremacy, that makes you a racist. Cyrus' tweet started getting a lot of attention after it was reported by Colorado Politics and Breitbart. When Breitbart picked up this story, um, and, and the comments came flooding in. I can't even say some of the stuff out loud. Here's an email she said she received saying in part, you are an ungrateful racist. Please shut your mouth and apologize properly. There's literally nothing that is gonna shut me up. On Twitter, some people are calling her a sore loser after losing to incumbent Diana DeGette. I feel like a proud winner. I don't feel remotely like a sore loser. Now she'll just keep moving forward. We are not going anywhere. Now, Syra says she has been getting death threats, so she's taking her family out of the state, and so she feels comfortable coming back home. Now, we, we reached out to Congresswoman Diana DeGette's office for her take on all of this. In a statement to Nine News, her spokeswoman said, the Congresswoman abhors violence and condemns in the strongest terms possible any such threats. All right, well, there's much more to discuss about that, and hopefully she'll stay in touch after she leaves the state and, and fills us in. Yep. All right, thank, thank you, Kristen. Thanks, Kristen.